Hello everyone, Brickasaurus227, and welcome to episode 8 of the Nerf Archive series. And I have decided every season I do this, episode 8 is going to be the oddball episode. Re review something that's a little bit more odd than the rest, or that's something that's not really a Nerf blaster. And today we're going to be doing some real oddball things. Oh wait, I didn't mean to say it like that. Hold on, hold, hold on. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nerf Doomlands Vigilance Axe, one of the coolest handheld melee weapons Nerf has ever made as far as something that's more of a smaller variety of melee. I don't know. The Nerf Vid Doomlands Vigilance Axe is a really cool piece of Nerf melee history. It's one that's not as talked about because it's a really cool melee weapon. Now it does have a few cons as far as it's not the most stable. I actually had to reinforce this with some stuff with glue and a little a plastic pipe in the inside. I had to reinforce a few things and fix a few things because these do damage somewhat easily if you roughhouse them too much. But this one has been kind of fixed so I can roughhouse it all I want. It's a very good and efficient melee blaster. It's a uh, very blaster, it's not a blaster. It's very small and great for nerf games. And it's like soft foam, so you can hit someone with it as much as, you know, and it's not gonna hurt them. It's a really cool blast. it's a real, it's not a blaster, it's not a blaster. It's a really cool thing to have in a nerf board because melee can come in handy for many different situations, especially if you wanna do a silent kill or something like that. It can be very fun or you can throw it. This one is really good at throwing, you can actually, use it with relatively good accuracy and it's pretty fun it has really good colors and good looks it has the coolest feel i think out of all the smaller nerf melee weapons it's definitely a cool melee weapon this thing came out back when doom lands was getting really popular it's a really cool entry in the doom lands weapons entry in the doom lands weapons doom lands has some of the cooler melee weapons they actually have a couple, I think, and this was a really cool one. I really like the look of it. I really like the feel of it. It's just a fun melee weapon overall. So what does it offer the Nerf hobby today? Well, not much. It's just kind of a cool little thing, and it can be used as an effective short-range melee or long-range melee, depending on how skilled you are. I actually thought about adding some weight inside one of inside of the axe here so I can throw it further, but I don't know if that would be, you know, safe. I don't know. I thought about it, but who knows. One idea that Boston Blasters gave me is that you paint this with gloss, and that will make it a little bit more sturdy and not as breakable. But it's still a really cool piece of Nerf melee history, and I think it's one of the better, smaller melee weapons from Nerf. So, an effective melee weapon for the hobby. You can actually throw it. It's kind of cool. And I would give it an amazing rating for a melee weapon. Actually, let's bring it down to great because of the durability issues. You kind of have to reinforce it a little bit if you want it to last longer. Nerf melee has never been the best at lasting long. One good example is this machete. I had to put a pencil in here and glue it all up and make it sturdy and not bend as much as it did before. And now it's still kind of bendy. And also, another cool touch is we added an attachment rail to the bottom. But... I'll cover that in maybe season two. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode, the eight episode, the oddball episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. My junk drawer, my junk drawer. So many things I don't know what they're for, but I won't let it go. No, I will add more useless little things to my junk drawer.